Before installing a splice using Flexco bolt solid plate fasteners, it is important to make sure both ends of the belt are square. For information on recommended belt squaring procedures, please consult Flexco literature describing belt squaring techniques or the Flexco video entitled Correct Belt Squaring Procedures. Once the belt is squared, installation requires only a few simple tools. Start with the bolt solid plate template. The template simplifies installation by providing an accurate guide to help with the installation of precisely positioned bolt holes. Splice installation can then be accomplished using portable hand tools or power tools. Hand tools required include a hammer, a hole punch, a wrench, a carpenter's brace, a bolt horn used to coax the top plate over the installed bolts, flex lock tape, and bolt breakers. Half-inch power impact tools are recommended, however, since they can reduce installation time by as much as 50 percent. Installation using power tools requires a half-inch square drive impact wrench equipped with the Flexco quick change chuck, a power punch, a power boring bit, and bolt breakers. To determine the correct fastener size for your application, measure the belt thickness as well as the diameter of the smallest pulley around which the belt wraps at least 90 degrees. Along with the belt's mechanical fastener rating, use the bolt solid plate reference charts displayed in Flexco literature to select the fastener size that corresponds to those measurements. Once the belt ends have been squared, support the belt ends with a wood plank. Position the Flexco template between the belt ends and draw both belt ends together until they are tight against the lugs of the template. Nail the template into position at several locations across the width of the belt to make sure the template stays in place. With the template in a fixed position, it's time to start punching or boring the holes. Prior to punching or boring the holes, Spray the template holes with Flexco silicone lubricant. The lubricant will reduce friction on both the belt surface and the belt punch and simplify belt cutting and hole punching. Punch or bore the holes using the template as your guide. Once the holes are punched, remove the template. You are now ready to begin installing the fastener assembly. Most fastener sizes come pre-assembled in a quick-fit configuration, eliminating the need to assemble the bottom plates. However, some bolt solid plate sizes require you to prepare bottom plate assemblies prior to installation. To assemble bottom plates, insert the bolts through the plate, then secure the bolts in place by attaching the clip. Next, fold back one of the belt ends and insert the bolts in one row of holes. Using the teeth of the installation template, align the other row of bolts, place the other belt end over the exposed bolts, and press the belt into place. Now remove the template and begin placing the top plates over the top of the exposed bolts. In order to avoid damaging the bolt thread, you may use the bolt horn to work the top plate into position. Do not drive the plates into the belt surface at this time. Next, start the nuts on the bolts by hand. Note that the bolt solid plate fastener system makes use of Flexco's exclusive piloted bolt assembly for faster installation time. Prior to tightening the nuts on the bolts and before the plate teeth are driven into the belt surface, trim a length of Flexco lock tape to approximately three and a half times the belt width. Next, feed the tape under the top plates between the bottom plates and the belt surface, and then back under the top plates. Pull the tape tight and hold in position by tightening the nuts on the fastener at each end. Then tighten all other plates, starting at the outside edge and working toward the center. Be sure to tighten all nuts to the same approximate pressure. A properly tightened plate will show a slight puckering in the belt along the edges of the fastener. Now it's time to seat the teeth of the bottom and top plate into the belt surface. 
With the wood plank still in place, take a wood block, the edge of a thick board will do, place it over the top plates and hammer the plates into the belt surface. Once the fastener teeth are embedded in the belt, re-tighten the nuts. At this point, you may remove the wooden plank underneath the installed splice. Finally, break off the excess of the bolt ends using two bolt breakers. Peen or grind down the bolt ends to a smooth finish and the job is complete.